Hi guys, my name is Brooke, also known as Aurora Elliptica. You guys can check out my art page at facebook.com slash brookthorn in the digit one, so it's brookthorn1. It will be posted below in the description, and you can also check out my Facebook page, Aurora Lorelei Elliptica. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. And I've been thinking about, like I said, you guys know my origins. I've talked about my experiences with um, things happening in my dreams and my experiences with different types of alien beings um, in my dreams and remembering it from my soul memory. But one thing I was thinking about was what was the ultimate truth of everything? I'm just going to check the time, guys, to make sure I don't go over 15 minutes. Okay. Um, what I wanted to figure out was what is the soul, like, what is the purpose of everything for humankind? I've done a lot of research for many years. I've looked into it. I, I had experiences through my dreams. And I've been trying to figure out what is it that makes human beings so special. Like, but this, let me just tell you guys a really sad truth. It's bittersweet. It's, it's part of it's sad, but then part of it's really beautiful. Souls, what I can gather from, from re doing all my research and studying philosophy and energies and spirituality, and I've been doing this for a long, long time. Like, I just didn't get up and say, hey, I'm about to start, you know, studying stuff. No, I've been looking into this for a long time. If you check out my Facebook page and my fan page, you'll see all the artwork. And, um, and my YouTube also has a lot of videos and animations that I've done. Um, most of my stuff, my artwork, is dedicated to my spirituality and my own personal experiences. But from what I can gather from all of my experiences, I'm going to tell you guys some truths that I've personally experienced about what's going on in life. For one, aliens do exist. I'm sorry, there's so much evidence about it that you cannot deny it. And I've personally experienced reptilians and um, I've personally experienced reptilians, great aliens, and possibly other types of aliens that I wasn't familiar with. I think I've, I've ran into someone who's from um, the Pleiadians. I think I ran into them. Um, it was a, I remember I had a dream about a guy who was um, tall and had blonde hair, blue eyes, and, show, and showed me this huge circuit board. It looked like a, a, a computer chip or something, and he said, this is what controls the world. I remember I had a dream about that. One of these days I'll draw that out for you guys. But I've had a lot of strange dreams. And I've had them since I was a kid. But one of the ultimate truths I've learned about humankind. I'm not trying to make people feel a certain way. But human beings, it seems like, are just a huge experiment for the aliens. Our souls are real. Our souls are the most important thing. Our bodies are just like a computer that processes the soul information. Our bodies are a temporary thing. They're a container to con contain the soul. Okay? The soul is what gives the body personality. It's what gives you character. There are people that are different than others. Some people are very perky and excited and some people are very reserved, dark, and mysterious. But the soul is the main thing that most aliens and most things are fighting for and I said to myself what's so important about the soul that they have to create now aliens create bodies they put the soul in the bodies and I started putting a B a B and C together like okay so aliens like different entities basically trap the souls in bodies and prevent them from moving forward so basically guys the truth of what's going on right now why everyone's so concerned about the soul is because this is a prison planet souls cannot get off of this planet because there is a barrier 
created on this in this world. So anytime someone dies, there are things waiting for you to die to get your soul and put it reincarnated back into the world and prevent your soul from going out, evolving, reaching the source. And when your soul goes through that process, your memories are erased. They're not completely eradicated, but they're, I would have to say a better word for it is suppressed. And the soul is put back into another container. So basically, they're taking people's souls and they just keep putting them back in container after container after container and wiping out the memory constantly until we de-evolve as souls. And my question is why? Why are they doing this? Because you ask yourself questions like, why do people remember things from past lives? The soul's supposed to move on and evolve. But why does it keep being you know, used over and over and over again? It's a sad truth. The truth is, guys, our souls are prisoners on this planet. There are beings that want to control everything. They want to make us slaves. They want to keep reincarnating our souls to live this life of servitude. And I know people might say, oh, you're just crazy and you have a stupid philosophy. But if you look at every single thing that's going on, how come every religion, science, everything in the world is all about the soul? The soul is what gives our bodies. Because without it, our bodies, it's just a body. It just lays there, it's just flesh. There is a constant war for the soul. And our genetics are being manipulated. Our uh, DNA is being man manipulated. And human beings are just a huge genetic manipulation. So that the soul of the person comes out and these entities have the ability to see it. They get it, or there, there's an energetic field in the world that's preventing the souls from going out to source or evolving. Those beings get the soul, and they put the soul back in another body, and they don't remember shit. I'm a little upset, guys, because this is disgusting. This disturbs me on so many levels because human beings are so de- or they're just de-evolving. Our souls have a lot of information. The, the memories aren't erased. It's impossible to eradicate it. But you can suppress it and keep suppressing it. And you think you don't remember. But in your soul, if you want to know, you will know. That's called evolving. When you say, hey, you know, I'm sick and tired of crawling. It's time to walk. I'm tired of walking. It's time to run. I'm tired of running. It's time to fly. And that's, that brings up another question. Why the hell can't human beings do anything? Like, we can't fly. We don't have telepathy as strong as other beings. I mean, we might have these abilities. But compared to gray aliens, reptilians, and the mantis aliens, and all these other, the Arcturians, if we were to get into a fight, they would already know what we're going to do before we do it. So there is no fight. So my question is, why are human beings so limited to just imagination? Like, we have such imagination. We draw cartoon characters that can fly and control the weather and all this other stuff. Why can't we do these things? Like, it's just, it's a sad truth, but we got to be real with ourselves, guys. Human beings, our souls, we have the potential to do the impossible. What we think is impossible, we can do it. But we have so many limitations because there are so many things that we cannot see and, and observe that are controlling our lives. And there's a constant battle for the soul. Our souls are the most important thing. No one can give two shits about our bodies. Our bodies are just to contain the soul. Because, and, and I've been, I still don't know why. I think, here's some typical reasons. Control, to keep a, pl a prison planet, like the other beings want slaves, they want us to work. They want, us, they want to use our energy. They want to feed off of our energy. They want to use this as food. There's a lot of different answers, but I don't understand why. Why would you take the time out of your life to make a bot like human bodies to contain the soul? Why, why does the soul need a body? That's, that's one of my questions. I don't know the answer. If anyone knows the answer or can 
give me a theory that's really interesting, feel free, but why does the soul need a body? I'm sorry if I'm rambling all over the place. I get a little emotional because the truth is hard. It's hard to handle. Like, it's very, very tough to, to handle it. Because um, to know that the beautiful thing about life, though, is that we as souls do have the ability to have endless power. But the only problem is we have to want it. We have to want that power. We can fly. We have telepathy. We have premonitions. But we have been taught to de-evolve into nothingness. I'm not a college scholar. I didn't go to college for very long. I, I'm pro-education. I just don't like the way the system is set up and the way the system is structured. A lot of people can't afford to go to school. But most things that I've learned in my life were from within. From within my heart and within my soul. And people might say that does not give me credibility because I don't have certificates and papers to throw in your face. But when I know that there's something wrong, that human beings are just more than just slaves. Yes, I said the word slaves because when you have to get up every day and work for someone who doesn't have to get up and waste as much energy and time as you do to, to work to pay your bills, there are people that say, what are bills? Can you imagine that? That there are people that are like, what are bills? What is a budget? You know what I'm saying? Like there are people in this world that exist that don't even have to worry about monetary means. A lot of alien races don't even know the concept of money. So that's how I know that this is a prison planet. There's no other way to describe it. That's the sad truth. But it's not, all truth is not just being, uh, having a sad ending. The world, there's a beautiful thing. If we as human beings stop the bullshit, okay, and I stop the drugs, stop the just wanting to watch TV. I stopped watching TV years ago because I started to realize this is not real, it's a bunch of bullshit. Like these people are paid liars. Actors are trained professional liars. I'm not saying acting, acting has its beauty and its art in it and its, and its moments of being beautiful and artful and because I like acting, you know, and I like it, but when it becomes something that people believe is real like when people turn on the TV and they follow celebrities and they don't even ask what is really real within their soul and in their heart that's when things become a, a problem the truth is so distorted why are people working so hard to keep us in a dream world where we praise celebrities which they live in a world of Photoshop. And believe me, I'm an advanced Photoshop user. I know when I see Photoshop. I'll let you guys know. We live in a world of Photoshop, photo editing, makeup, and there's nothing wrong with art, but there's, there's just a fine line between art and a consistent illusion. We are in an illusion. And guys, please, don't be afraid to sit down at night and ask your soul, why am I here and what's going on? Because the more you ask, the more information you'll get. Because every single day, when I yearn for the truth, and I really want the truth, I get more information from within every single day, and my soul will tell me where to go, what to look up, and what to research to figure out A, B, and C. So guys, you guys may think I'm crazy, weird, I'm not on drugs, I'm not insane, you know, I'm not stupid and want attention on YouTube and shit. I really just want to know my origins and why. Why does the soul need a body? And why are these entities that we do not have contact with and they're out somewhere, could be in another dimension or just in, in, in Earth's orbit, why are they so obsessed with our souls and our genetics? Why do they want to put a barrier around the Earth so people cannot leave soulfully? Why is this a prison planet? Why? That's the question. I'm sorry. That is the truth. I believe it. It makes the most sense to me. The only way we're going to get out of this prison is if we evolve. Because if we choose to sit here and not do anything about, like, why, why are people hungry? Why is half of the world starving? 
Why do we have to work like slaves? Why do we have so much depression? Why do we have so much death? Why do we have so much fighting? And people are, 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 get, are, are feeding off of other people's pain because there are more ways to, to feed. You eat flesh, you eat flesh, you eat uh, emotionally, and you eat mentally. When you see someone in pain, some people get off on it. They're like, oh, I'm doing better than they are. Someone profiting from someone else's demise. That's what people do. And I'm guilty for it. I've caught myself doing that plenty of times. Like, there's nothing like feeling like good like you defeated your opponent. But why? What are we fighting for? Why, why are we fighting to prove ourselves? And that's another thing that everyone's trying to be prove something to everyone else. Like, oh, I'm better than you. I'm a better artist. I'm a be I have more money than you. I look better than you. People feed off of that. Imagine living in a world where you don't have to eat flesh where you don't have you, you don't have to be controlled think about it if you were a being that you didn't have to eat you didn't have to sleep and all you had to do is get energy from the sun and the air and the atmosphere around you and you were telepathic no one could lie because you could see right through them imagine what your life would be but why are human beings so limited why can't we fly why can't we do shit I'm pretty sure some people can do more than others, but a majority of us, we cannot throw hands with a great alien. A great alien will already know what the hell you're about to do. A reptilian, get the fuck out of here. We are so weak. It's sad. I'm sorry to say this. You guys might hate me like, you're weak, you're da -da -da. but name me somebody who could fly. If they could fly, where are they? If someone has telepathy, I'm pretty sure people have telepathy, but it's not as strong as a reptilian or a gray alien. Like, let's just be real. Why are we so limited? We have so much ability. It's within us. Let's stop the bullshit. Let's stop eating this crap. And another thing that's funny is that I understand people are poor. They can't afford quality. When you're broke, you cannot afford quality stuff. Like, you, you can only afford an illusion of food. Like what is ramen noodles? Ramen noodles isn't food. It tastes like chicken. It's not chicken and it's not food. This is the stuff that the uh, impoverished people are living off of. So you have to have money if you want realness. Isn't that sad that you, if you want water, if you want good clean water and good food, you have to have a lot of money. And there are people out here that have to constantly eat shitty food, eat, drink shitty water, and be messed up mentally and emotionally and physically because they have bad information coming into their system because they can't afford quality. This world is a mess. People shouldn't have to not have access to the basics like clean water and, and some decent food. This is a prison planet. I'm sorry to say this, guys, but it is. I, I've noticed this. People might call me cynical and you're such a downer and you're so emo. But God damn it, I like the truth, whether it's good or it's bad. I want the truth. At least I know the truth. The truth is, life is what you make it. You don't have to be poor. You can work hard. But, you know, overall, we are slaves. This is, this is slavery. Our souls on a soulful level. There are so many people that all they care about is what's the latest rap song or what's the latest sneaker coming out. People are killing themselves, killing themselves over a new pair of sneakers. Where are your priorities? Like seriously, where are your priorities? You're going to kill someone, your fellow human being, over some sneakers? And you guys wonder why aliens are fucking with us? Come on. Get it together. I'm going to make some more videos and do some more art because I'm, I'm sorry if I'm a little angry but I'm passionate because it's like I'm upset. I want to know my origins and the more I look into this, the more information I will get and I will know because the universe will know. When you want to know the truth, the universe will um, help you out. But people who don't want to know the truth and they want to live in blissful ignorance, 
those aliens and those beings are going to keep recycling your soul and suppressing your memory to the point of you de-evolving to nothingness. So guys, please wake up.